morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, July 31st, 2013. As predicted, AM Best, the insurance rating agency, has placed the financial strength rating of A- of SAC RE under review with negative implications. SAC RE, of course, is owned by uh, the Stephen A. Cohen Company. Mr. Cohen is under investigation by the federal government. And in fact, the uh, federal district attorney in New York State, in New York City actually, has recently charged SAC Capital uh, as uh, engaging in criminal activities. It's expected now that uh, other tumbles will occur in rating uh, entities. Uh, SAC is saying that the, the reputational risk of SAC RE is uh, negligible because it's not a subsidiary or a unit of SAC Capital, but SAC Capital only serves as the investment manager of SAC RE's funds. SAC RE, of course, is one of the insurance linked securities collateralized insurers, which means the money is there, it's been paid in by investors, it's escrowed. Uh, the uh, concern, of course, is that the hedge fund is actually managing those investments. More questions about the jewel heist in uh, France and uh, Riviera on Sunday. As we know now, the total uh, of the diamonds that were stolen is about $136 million. Uh, the robber, whose face was covered by a hat and a scarf, had a semi-automatic pistol. He threatened to shoot the exhibitors and their guests. Security guards were there. There were only a few of them, but they were unarmed. Observers said it was a professional heist. Was, um, the guards were unarmed. Nobody thought to tell the police about the tens of millions of dollars worth of gems that were going to be on display in the hotel for more than a month. Um, people are beginning to wonder how such an action could have occurred uh, without even the firing of a shot. Private security guards in France are usually prohibited from carrying weapons, but special authorization can be obtained when high-value assets are at stake. Um, the union representative of the employees at the Carlton Intercontinental Hotel are complaining. They're saying that the show organizers did not formally notify the police of the presence of the exhibit. The uh, union rep said, if our police knew that there was $100 million in jewelry here, I think they would have put a patrol car outside. Um, of course, now the big problem is uh, what the uh, insurance ramifications are and uh, the growing number of uh, concerns that are being pointed over the ability of the robber to, within four minutes, go into the hotel, find the jewels and emerge without being tracked uh, is leading to concerns about the security precautions taken at the event. Uh, maybe the insurance, maybe the security precautions were not up to the standard required by the insurance policy. We can be sure that uh, this is not finished yet by a long shot. Here's an interesting development as a result of Asiana Flight 214 crashing at San Francisco International Airport. Uh, at least two foreign airlines since the crash have aborted landings at SFO and have had to do go-arounds. It's not a big deal in itself. It happens every day at every airport. Usually it's because a uh, runway has not been cleared by a preceding plane. In this instance, though, the reason that the go-arounds occurred is because the pilot had not lined the plane up properly. Both go-arounds were uh, in connection with foreign airliners. One was another Asiana flight. The other was a uh, Taiwanese airline flight. So what the Federal Aviation Administration now wants is for pilots of foreign carriers to use their cockpit GPS systems to automatically align their planes for arrival at San Francisco International. It does not pertain to American pilots who typically prefer to hand fly their planes while landing at San Francisco as long as weather conditions allow them to land visually. So, people are beginning to complain. A retired airline pilot in the U.S. said basically the FAA is saying that some foreign pilots don't meet the qualifications of American pilots. My God, he continued, what does that say about those willing to buy a ticket on those airlines? An observer said that uh, typically with the GPS system, a uh, pilot sets it up about 100 miles from the airport. You turn on the autopilot, it will guide the aircraft very close to the runway, but it does not land the plane pilot is still going to have to disengage the autopilot and hand fly the plane to land at that runway at that airport. At least with this edict now from the FAA, foreign carriers will be pretty well lined up with the runway. If you have a Samsung uh, 4, Galaxy 4 phone, be aware of this. Uh, one exploded in China. Um, 
torched an entire house, apparently, according to a Chinese website, Xingao.com. The report follows a uh, news story earlier this month about an 18-year-old Swiss woman who received third-degree burns after her Samsung Galaxy 3 exploded in her pocket. Last year, a uh, man in Dublin had his Galaxy 3 caught fire while it was on his car's dashboard. Uh, these things tend to occur, it seems, when discount replacement batteries or uh, uh, white label uh, chargers are being used. The Japanese government has warned that the country might be hit by an earthquake more damaging than the March 2011 earthquake and tsunami, which killed 19,000 people. The government predicts a 9.0 magnitude earthquake in the southern Pacific side of Maine Honshu Island. That's pretty darn close to Tokyo. Uh, according to a professor at the uh, Department of Civil Engineering at the University of Tokyo who prepared a report for the government, the source of the quake is very close to the coast, therefore we don't have much lead time. Um, various cities and towns are preparing for the worst case scenario in which the government believes up to 320,000 people could be killed uh, with damages of $2.2 trillion U.S. Shops were closed and hospitals ran on generators today in a province in the Philippines that was plunged into darkness when the national power grid stopped its electrical supply to the province because of unpaid bills. Some $93 million in bills uh, from Albay province have not been paid over 15 years, so the Albay Electric Cooperative cut the power off. The uh, local provincial officials are working to try to establish a, a payment plan. Well, here's an interesting story. You've been reading about Greece and the debts that they've been facing and how the European Union is trying to get them back on the straight and narrow spending-wise. Well, wealthy Greeks fearing attacks by anarchist groups will no longer be entitled to free police bodyguards. This is in the latest cost-cutting plan from the government trying to meet those budget targets set by the EU. According to a proposal from the Greek government this morning, individuals with a net income of uh, more than $132,000 U.S. a year will now have to pay for their own police protection from potential terrorist and organized crime attacks. Um, the police union is saying that they have to be very careful about this move because this could now encourage the spread of anarchy, killings and kidnapping and the like. There's been a resurgence of attacks lately uh, toward the quote-unquote rich. Well, let's do some numbers. The United States last year, 142 million tax returns were filed. Uh, from what we've been able to see, about 14 and a half million of those um, were for uh, uh, annual gross income above $135,000. So that means that uh, in Greece today, um, the equivalent of 14 million Americans uh, are receiving free police protection, including bodyguards and patrol car usage. People wonder why Greece has a debt problem. That's very interesting. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching. And we'll